Doctor go do for a giant or chess a consumption no and my say a bin would be more a common or more to tell people and DC. And she a ma ketasi seno proye a cosso. Na and no can home be and I'm a gana for a year here for. Let's listen to Doctor Kodia for a giant uh said your din seventy two dia bar ye bet to us. This is Kesben ninety three point three FM. Not be denied representation in Parliament for a long time. Because that is plainly inconsistent with the idea of representative government. <coughs> Two, an election case should not be dismissed forthwith on a technicality like, oh, the case was not filed in time, or the lawyer brought a writ instead of a petition. For all you know, the candidate and the vote election mistakes can readily be discovered and corrected. Not so deliberate wrongdoing. To deter deliberate wrongdoing, all persons connected with the conduct of elections must be held strictly accountable for their actions by instituting a stringent regime of punishment for willful wrongdoing. All categories of election workers must be familiarized with the applicable regime of sanctions during their training, and any infractions must be seen to be punished. It appears that some candidates rushed to court with election petitions alleging manipulation of results, primarily to placate their financiers and supporters so that they will be given another chance to be a candidate at the next time. The rush can cause undeserved injury to the reputation of the Electoral Commission and unnecessarily in, unnecessary in, inundation of the courts. As we speak, there are well over 1,000 election petitions before the courts in Nigeria following the 2023 elections. Yes, well over 1,000 election petition. Some of them uh, will not be concluded you know, before the next election is held. <clears throat> to prevent the rush to court with improbable election petitions from becoming a fashion. So, Dr. Kodra Farijai, a uh, chairperson of the Electoral Commission, and uh, Oma Niema, officer as a country, baby, I'll be doing it. I'll see you in the next year. I'll see you in the next year. I'll see you in the next year. I'll see you e to abewi ono enim so ware but okoju obi sika no de be ye campaign no ana se political party financiers no se ba ya omo adwen ba ye omo se omo bo omo ho modin de bi ye ya wiya wo omo nti na o matum ni ka kokot e wa bro no wan nim sa de no ware ba so ba ya ni supporters any political financiers in next time omo ko omo ko pe sika wo ma sa mo omo bi nti no o se o yare ye wiya ye 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 gana Anyway, as the answer na e go court in any mercy. Court no the omu de mrana ye juma. As answer na ye do necessary press about to let track commission so. Nigeria election was simply since a thousand. And I caught a omu court to anybody Nigeria ho. And she signed your money name. And you party for no. I mean too much. Unim se worry na ubwa pa ko court because of the financiers in the political parties. You know, 2024 ye di any realm mu nyai mu individuals ah ye mamuska sam fan ko campaign amu reso nye. No more could you, my dear. No more, I'm married. No more, I'm going to go to the house. Yeah, 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 no. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. The court before it can act. The second reason for unsound judgment is what may be characterized as the lack of purposive interpretation of the law in full blown um, election petitions. I'd like to spend a bit of time on this. Because this is not as self-explanatory as the previous one. To start with, let me give an example of what I consider to have been a, pop, a purposive interpretation of the law when I was at the Electoral Commission. A Ghanaian citizen then living abroad once walked to the Commission's head office and said he wanted to register as a voter so that he could vote in an election due to be held in about two months time. It was explained to him that voter registration officially closed 
more than a month back. So he would have to wait till the next registration period. Not satisfied, he took the commission to court, and the court ruled that under our constitution, the right to register to vote is a fundamental right, and it is not within the remit of the Electoral Commission to decide when citizens will enjoy their fundamental rights. I describe that decision as purposive because it was directed at achieving two goals, both of which were consistent with the principles of electoral justice. The first goal was to preserve a citizen's right to register at a time of his or her choice. Since registration or voting is not compulsory in Ghana. Registration is not compulsory. Voting is not compulsory. Okay. So the former chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Dr. Kojo Afarijai, uh, Papa we Obuakra. But the point is also corruption. I'm a Ghana and ne, yeah, yeah, poor. Also over the years, we have become poorer as a nation and as a people, mainly due to pervasive corruption, particularly in the public sector. Unfortunately, some of our key public institutions are becoming institutions of dubious integrity. Increasingly, candidates who lose their elections are alleging manipulation and refusing to accept results. And Dr. Kodafari Jai and Odin Samaudo Atrujano. Have I been